Hi, in this project, we worked on music style transfer. Our team is Siddharth, uh, myself, and Jay. Uh, so to do music style transfer, we picked two instruments, piano and flute. And we read the Timbertron paper, which uh, talked about how we can con convert the audio into a CQT spectrum and then convert the source audio CQT into the target's CQT using a cycle GAN and then reconstruct the audio from the target CQT using a WaveNet. Here, due to the limitation of time, we did not build a WaveNet. Instead, we used the source, uh, source's phase CQT and the log CQT that is generated by our cycle GAN to reconstruct our audio using invert CQT. So this is the overall architecture of our cycle GAN. Uh, so the piano generator and the flute generator generate the respective uh, targets from the source. And we measure the loss in terms of three losses, cycle loss, identity loss, and discriminator loss, which is explained in the report. Uh, we tried four different models. Uh, vanilla cycle GAN, which uses the architecture and hyperparameters very similar to the paper cycle GAN. And then the architecture that was mentioned in Timbertron itself. In the simplified version of Timbertron, we, uh, we quartered all the feature channels uh, because we assumed that a smaller network would do the job, but that didn't work out. And then we implemented the larger Timbertron with and without gradient uh, penalty, uh, but because of the lack of time, we couldn't make the model to work better than our uh, vanilla cycle GAN. Uh, so here, it, this diagram shows some of the differences in these architectures. Uh, so vanilla cycle GAN uses con 3D, 2D transpose, whereas uh, Timbertron uses upsampling with na nearest neighbor interpolation. It looks to us from the small training that we have done that the upsampling is not working for this particular problem. Um, so let's look at our generated samples. Uh, so this is the output from a vanilla cycle GAN. So this is the original flute. And this is the generated piano from our vanilla cycle GAN. We can see that it is able to identify the timber of a piano and produce it. And even though we did not reconstruct the audio using a WaveNet, the reconstruction, reconstruction is pretty good with invert CQT as well as humans are not very perceptible to face information in the audio. Let us look at uh, uh, some other model. This is the source piano. And our simplified Timbertron is producing this flute. We see that there is a lot of noise and this is because this network was very small and we didn't train it uh, uh, long enough for, uh, for this network. And let's see the Timbertron with GP's output. This is the generated piano. We see that there is a lot of noise and this needs more work. Thank you.